presented here and said they have another word that represents those things I just mentioned. We have a borrowed language which is a, a, a actually mixed with our own dialect. But we have a foundational word that was inherited, that we inherited from our forefathers. The word you see, Anya into On Anna, was inherited, passed from generation to generation until it get to us. There are some words that we borrowed due to proximity, living close to some people. We interchange words. That does not mean well that we are related to them. If somebody now come and tell me that we call God Chuku, because we are close to Bini, we have mixture. We call God Osalobwe in terms of people a yeah. can. Osalobwe is never our foundational word language. Yes. These are words that are borrowed. We are not fighting on that aspect. Our call is that let Ndibu have this understanding that we are one. And the call to unify Ndibu is not a call to fight Nigeria. It is not a call to put somebody uh, in a state of coma. But it's a call to actually liberate ourselves from the backwardness that we are, we find ourselves. In a situation, in a situation where we find ourselves, we do better, but we receive less than what we give. If we are getting return according to our output, we, we won't be gathering here to be calling for the unity of Ndibo. Why we want to unite? We are uniting for the economic benefit, political benefit, benefit in governance. These are why we are calling Ndibo to come together as one big family. Just as I said this, I want to welcome the presence, the person of uh, our brother, Uncle Ibi. Come and speak to us. We need the space of. We are running out of time now, but we are still we are having one or two representatives where the Igbo group.